What's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint, back with another statue unboxing and review. This time, we have the new 52 Flash from Prime One Studio in collaboration with Sideshow. This is a super dynamic piece. I've had my eye on it for a while, so I'm excited to bust it open. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell, hit the like, and let's get Barry Allen out of the shipper box. All right, so the art box is very much uniform with the Batman New 52 statue that we did an unboxing for not too long ago. Just black and white with the logo. Very clean look, uh, but it ain't what's on the outside, it's what's on the inside. So let's get him out of the box. All right, we got the black cloth. What is that, velvet? Let's take a look at this base, wow. Man, I love this side of the road. This base looks awesome, guys. Here's the bottom of the base. Let's go ahead and get this guy down. We'll take a closer look at that during the review. So you have the base, then you have Barry Allen's body. He's all one piece, except for the head sculpt. So he's got a very shiny metallic suit, very flashy, no pun intended. But I guess it's a modernized New 52 look. Let's go ahead and get him pegged in to the side of this base. All right, in addition to the base and the body, we have this uh, speed limit sign. It's all bent out of shape. Speed limit 75. Very cool. We've got a piece of lightning bolt that'll go on to, I'm assuming, uh, his legs there. I see a little keyhole. Pretty big, translucent. It doesn't really feel like translucent resin. It feels like a PVC, or maybe it's just a, a resin combination. But it looks like it plugs into two places. So, we'll have to see where that goes. And another. And lastly, we have two different head sculpts. Uh, very similar. I mean, one of them he has a little bit of a smirk, and one of them he has a serious face. Not the best work from Prime One. I'm a little bit surprised. I don't think the portraits look that good, and they look a little bit undersized. It doesn't really seem like a quarter scale head sculpt. Nevertheless, let's put the box away and get him assembled. All right, guys. So we have all the pieces on the table. Let's go ahead and pop off. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and pop on a head sculpt here. All right, there we go. Now let's try to figure out if we can put these pieces in without having to find uh, pictures or instructions or anything. All right, there have been multiple versions of the Flash. The original Flash from the Golden Age was Jay Garrick. The Flash that we know from the New 52 is Barry Allen, and he originated in the Silver Age. Barry Allen's first appearance was in Showcase 4 in October of 1956. Besides this being the first appearance of the Silver Age Flash, Showcase 4 is also considered to be the first comic book of the Silver Age. This is the book that ushered in a whole new dawn of comics and a whole new era. All right, guys, so the lightning bolts were a little challenging, but nothing that we can't handle. So there you go. You have the Flash. I have not seen any reviews of this piece. And to my knowledge, this was the first quarter-scale Flash. I mean, for the longest, collectors always were asking Sideshow, when are they going to do a Flash premium format? Then this one kind of came out, and I think a lot of people were turned off with the paint on the suit, with that metallic look. And uh, they eventually did uh, reveal a uh, Flash Premium format sculpted by Daniel Bell, which has more of a classic cloth look. But you know what? I got the new 52 Batman. I figured let's get the Flash in here and do a review for him. And I figured he would look good with the rest of my quarter scale pieces. So let's take a look at it. First of all, I think the base is where this piece really shines. He's running so fast. He's got this hot streak through the, the middle of the floor here. It looks like it's very hot to the touch. He actually has pushed the concrete up to the side. The asphalt is here uh, almost at a 90 degree angle. And I think this flash is very dynamic, the way he's actually running sideways along this road. I think that looks really good. And then you have a lot of details in the road. You have 
the concrete texture, you have the manhole cover, which looks great. You have these other bricks, you have the speed limit sign. So I think the base is where this piece really shines. The Flash, to me, you know, even though he is very dynamic, he's got a traditional Showcase 4 type of uh, pose to him. He's really just kind of got one leg up and he's pretty, uh, he, he's pretty plain, actually. It's the fact that he's sideways is what makes it really impressive to me. So uh, I do like him, but I, I, I I don't know, I feel like he looks like he's a little bit underscaled. I feel like the Batman Premium format looks like he would tower over this guy. The head uh, does seem a little bit on the smaller side. I don't know, he might have the length, but nowhere near as long as Batman. Batman might be a little bit overscaled, actually. Uh, either way, they ended up going with the, the resin uh, electricity to go around him. It's definitely uh, a pliable material. You can kind of bend it. You, you really kind of have to to get it plugged into the base and to the Flash's leg. So I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, it definitely adds a lot more to the piece. I don't mind its material because it's got to be functional and it can't be too fragile. I, I mean, so far, so good. It, it doesn't really peg in as well as I would like into some of the body parts, though. Like, some of the, um, some of the pieces don't sit as flush as I would like. As far as the paint, I think, again, the base is perfect. The paint for uh, for Barry, he does have a shine to it. You know, so did Batman. So, I mean, that's kind of a theme with this line. And I think the Superman and Green Lantern look like that as well. So, I mean, if that's the theme for the line, I'm okay with that. It, it is shiny. I guess it, it gives you a modern look, a new 52, uh, uh, mid-2015, 2014 vibe. And although the portraits, I feel like, are, are a little bit lacking, I think that the skin tone is done really well, and they always have a really good flesh tone technique that they use with their head sculpts. So I think that does look good. The wings on his ears feel very fragile, so you kind of want to be careful with those. But otherwise, I think they probably could have just stuck with one head sculpt. I don't think there's a big enough difference between the two. Very cool, though, to have a quarter-scale flash piece. Let's see how tall he is. It looks to me... Like his tallest point is the tip of the electricity or the lightning bolt here on his forearm. So he's 21 inches tall. The diameter of the base is about 11 inches, but it kind of sticks out pretty wide. If you look at like the speed, the speed limit sign to the asphalt, it looks like about 16 or 17 inches at its greatest width. It's definitely a fun piece though, for sure. I mean, I think that it has its flaws, but I think overall the concept here and the sculpt really took a lot of risks and I think that it does pay off. And I'm sure if somebody who wasn't, somebody who reviews statues, if you walked into a room and you saw this, you would be like, wow, that's a pretty cool flash statue. And, and although I think that the Sideshow Premium Format one looks really good, it's definitely, uh, it definitely plays it safe. It, it kills it in anatomy and kind of its technique but it doesn't really uh, wow you like how this one does with with the uh, concept and with how it was executed. Actually, I just now noticed that if you look at the back of the base, you can even see the manhole cover and the ladder going down into the sewer. So a lot of good detail on this base. I, I tell you, that's where this piece really shines. Best base is in the business. Yeah, that base is really where it's at. You know, it's kind of, it's noticeable how different the quality of the flash is compared to the base. And I can't really pinpoint it. I think some of the paint work, the, bl the black lines look a little bit sloppy. Even the, um, the, the gold kind of bolts around his wrist, the paint job looks sloppy. I think that's what's really bothering me there. Yeah, a little bit of some sloppy paint work. That shiny red, uh, I guess the more I look at it, the more I would have to agree with most collectors that it's a little too shiny for my taste. I was hoping in person it wouldn't look as shiny. I don't know. I mean, from a distance, it's okay. Switch out the head sculpt, but again, not much of a change there. Just has a more serious, kind of a little bit more of a lifeless look in this one. But that'll wrap up the review for this one. I mean, overall, I am happy with it. I, I can't wait to see what he looks like up there next to uh, the other quarter-scale DC pieces. Maybe I'll give you guys a quick shot. So I am happy with it. I do like the sub-base with the Flash logo on it. I think that looks good. Uh, the paint looks a little dull on it, though. It doesn't look as clean as the Batman one. But um, overall, I, I'm happy with it. 
uh, next theme is not the best either. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you guys think about the new 52 Flash in the comments down below. Man, I totally missed the fire hydrant in the box and more lightning that goes under his left foot there. It does add a little bit more. The base is killer, I'm telling you. Make sure to hit that gem on the left if you want to subscribe to the channel, which you should. We drop videos every single day at 11 a.m. Eastern, live streams on Sunday mornings, and uh, we have a playlist of statue reviews to the right. So you want to go ahead and get lost in that. Be my guest. Stay minty fresh. Thanks for watching. Peace.